what is up guys so my last video you guys heard that the first three comments were gonna be shouted out so let me just show you the three comments that three people are about to get shouted out I wasn't lying I was really gonna shout out someone and yeah so the three people are Roblox Master um Mr. Programmer Shout out to you, um, shout out to Roblox Master and shout out to Undertale Bro, that's okay. So, um, those three people got um, uh, the first three people to come in. So, today, as you can see, we are reacting to a McDonald's horror story. So, let's just get into this. You guys ready? Just so you know, get your blank. Put it on this, like this. McDonald's, one of the world's most famous fast food restaurants. Even though it's not very healthy, it can be very convenient. Since McDonald's is open 24 hours a day, but even in such a fun and friendly place, strange things can happen that even if you tried, you weren't able to forget them. Something like this happened to me. A story so unnerving and terrifying that I'll never forget. It happened three years ago, when I was 17. I was in desperate need of a job because to complete my education, I needed to pay off my car. You guys, I'm like, I didn't know this was fake because like, you no, know, could hear the voice of, like a girl, and you can just see it's just like a boy. Like college fees. Finally, I got a job in McDonald's to make my boss happy. I had to work whatever shift he asked me to do, whether it be a night or a day shift, and to work as many hours as he wanted. At this point, I had been working at McDonald's for three months, but I had only been working day shifts. One day, my boss called me into his room and told me that because I had been working at McDonald's for months now and gained a lot of experience, I was ready for night shift. Before the video, like, get into the story more, um, today we are going to be doing first five comments, okay? Because I know three comments are, but less than, like, could people would, like, just do it and, like, so the first five comments are gonna get shut out. My boss also told me that night shifts can be very quiet and asked me if I had a problem with it. I told him that no, it wouldn't bother me. My boss told me that I would start my night shifts from Saturday. That'd be from twelve o'clock till five o'clock. I arrived at McDonald's at twelve o'clock on Saturday. My manager told me... Wait, what's that? You just... Wait. What is different with the boss and the manager? Because, like, you can see this guy. He's called the manager, and the other guy's called the boss. And the other guy had black hair. This guy has brown hair, and the other guy has glasses. So far, I don't know. My tasks were to refill the ketchup, mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce bottles, clean the floor, and clean the tables. He gave me a long list of things to do. After telling me everything, the manager went home. McDonald's was fairly quiet that night, but I didn't really notice the silence. Because I really, like, I'm so surprised because, like, if I go to McDonald's in the night, I would, wouldn't just see one person stand I would see, like, lots of people standing at the tables and waiters. I wouldn't just see one person, so, like, one. Because I was busy in my work, I needed to do a lot. As I was doing my work, I never really noticed the time, and suddenly, it was two o'clock. It was a little odd, I noticed, that no customers arrived in McDonald's until that time, but I was fine with it. I just wanted to finish my work quickly, since tomorrow, I had to report it to the manager. I was arranging coffee cups on the table. Do with the crown Clowns are literally everywhere. McDonald's, that's like around a McDonald's, but 
clowns literally everywhere in McDonald's. Like, it's just following him, so it's probably something with the clown. When I suddenly felt like I was being watched, yeah, it was out. a weird feeling. Clown. But I took no notice of it. I told myself that since I had no experience of working late, the weird feeling was because of me staying up. Suddenly, my eyes glanced at the window. When I looked out, I saw a strange black shape. Like someone was standing right there, staring at I can't me. See anyone. And I just thought that must be my imagination. Who would it's stand outside at this time of night? You I continued my work. You literally just said, start. who would be up at this time of night? I'm up. Everyone's up. You up. So what do you mean? A bit later, my attention went to the window again. Now it seemed that the black shape yeah, was closer. Yeah, I know you see down the tree to work. But I reassured myself that tree, I was just seeing things. Nothing of that sort was happening. It's it was no outside, not the then I decided not outside. to look outside anymore and focus on cleaning the tape. So I continued working. I was busy doing my work when I heard a noise. It's not a noise. It's just, 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 just noise. I immediately looked outside. I don't really do anything else. I don't know what I do. My it's fears like, were confirmed. Could you just hear a demon wind. whose eyes were red like blood was staring at me. What is that? It looks like a bear or something. So, like, what? Oh my god, my camera got blocked. But you can see it looks like a bear and like a zombie thing, like a bear. A zombie, well, a zombie face with red eyes, okay? Banging on the window. Actually, if this happened to me, I would never work on that. Just, um, if if the guy actually told me, do you want to do this or do you not want to do it, I would just say like, uh, if it's quiet, I'm not gonna do it. And like there's something knocking at the door, I'm like, I wouldn't do anything. I don't know what I would do. I couldn't stay there for Why a minute just stay on? I immediately hung a closed <laughs> sign on it's the front door. Just gonna chase you. I wouldn't do that. I would chase me home. And ran for my life. I was terrified. I called my manager One freaky thing and told like him. If you just move my face cam down, true McDonald's horror story animated. Like, you can see that, wow. True. And due to sickness, I was going home. My manager said that it was fine, I could go. I didn't want to tell him what happened to me that night. Because I knew if I did, he wouldn't believe me. And I would seem like a fool. Somehow, I managed to drive home. I felt sort of safety. I'm just like really looking for, like literally, I'm just like getting home, just be relaxing, watching TV, watching my videos, like me As home. I reached home and decided that night that I would never, ever do a night shift again, even if I have to find another job. Who would want to find a job over McDonald's? Okay, so guys, you remembered um, that first five comments. Um, who subscribed, liked, and, um, clicked the bell, well, and just, like, if you comment, okay, like, anything you can comment, you don't even have to comment chatting, but the first five comments, like, relate, like, I'll know, relate to that, will get shouted out, okay, so, first five comments will get shouted out, getting with a bit less, I was thinking, and, hope you enjoyed this video, let me know, like, if you want more scary story videos, but like, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace. Peace.